course presented by Lamp Warriors. These are the five most common myths about self-defense. I'm going to go through each one of these. The reason they're myths is because this stuff you may have seen on TV, you may have heard, someone may have told you, uh, gets passed through the grapevine, whatever, however it came about, these are common understandings, and if it get uh, just like anything, if if something gets told to you over and over and over again, all of a sudden it becomes truth, whether it's truth or not. I'm sure some of you have uh, come in contact with that in some form. So these are actually myths, and they'll get you hurt. So I want to break these myths right off the bat, okay? And this will help you. Now, number one, because it's the most uh, most prevalent, is the police will protect me. This is like a quote. The police will protect me from robbers, rapists, and murderers. Now, I'm a fan of the police. I have a lot of friends on the police force, detectives, JSO, Nassau County, and I'm a fan of the police. So this, like I say right off the bat, is not bashing the police. This is a reality that they told me. This is what was told to me. Jonathan, we would love to go patrol all the neighborhoods and look for out-of-place characters, out-of-place people, trying to be proactive to stop crime. However, there's just not enough of us. They said we go around from call to call to call, never having an opportunity to go and be proactive. They're going from call to call to call. In other words, they're being reactive, otherwise uh, known as going and cleaning up, which isn't a wonderful thing to think about, but they're having to go and clean up after crime scene, after crime scene. So they're not going to be, okay, say for example, it would be true luck and fortune uh, for you to be walking down the street, get attacked, and a police officer just happen to be driving by and see that and come to your aid. Okay, otherwise, the first line of defense is you. Okay, why I say this is because you have to take personal responsibility for your own well-being. Well, you guys are in here, so you've already taken that step, so good. Now you're going to learn how to do it. But just don't be under the guise that, man, if something happens, a cop will be right there. You first have to defend yourself and live until you can get away and get on the phone or have someone else call 911 or get a first responder to you, okay? But they're not going to just be like they're like a long ranger or something, okay? So that's number one. 